Good morning students today we will begin with our very first chapter that is nutrition in plants now the basic requirement for all living organism including plants and animals is food now our food is composed of various nutrients which you have already learned in class 6 these nutrients are namely vitamins minerals fats proteins and carbohydrates now there are two modes of nutrients in plants modes of nutrition are broadly classified into two types first is autotroph and second is heterotroph autotroph as the term tells you auto means self trop means production so the organisms which can produce their own food they are termed as the autotroph or you can also say that they are termed as the producers now the second is heterotroph organisms which cannot produce their own food or you can also say that the organisms which are dependent on the autotrophs directly or indirectly for their food are termed as the heterotrophs example being human beings and animals now our next topic is photosynthesis photosynthesis is also called as the food making process in plants now a question must be arising in your mind that whether the food is prepared in the whole plant or a certain part of the plant before that let me tell you the exact meaning of photosynthesis photosynthesis is a term which is made up of two small words photo means light and synthesis means production if i try to give you a simple definition of photosynthesis then we can say that the process by which plants produce their own food with the help of sunlight is called photosynthesis now as i told you that the food is produced in the leaves of the plant so the leaf of a plant is termed as the food factory now the basic requirement or the raw materials which are necessary for the uh, production of food has to be reached to the leaves so the basic requirement are the water and minerals which a plant gets from the soil then the second main essential component is the carbon dioxide which the plant gets from the air third most important thing is the sunlight and with the help of chlorophyll a green pigment present in the plant which helps in the capturing of sunlight helps in the production or the synthesis of food and by this method with the help of sunlight water carbon dioxide plant is able to produce their own food thus you can say that the sun is the ultimate source of energy for all the living organism now can you imagine life on earth in the absence of photosynthesis can you imagine a life on earth if there is no photosynthesis no because the only organism the organisms which can produce food is the plant and if plant is not getting sunlight they won't be able to synthesize the food if plant won't be able to synthesize the food or produce the food then the heterotrophs which are dependent on the plant directly or indirectly for food they won't be able to get any food and the life is not possible if there is no sunlight on earth now the process of photosynthesis can be sum up in a simple equation that says that carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll produces carbohydrate that you can also say that the starch or the food with the liberation of oxygen oxygen is then taken up by all the living organisms including humans for their survival 